The fifth mode of the yogic approach to asthma is meditation. And you know, there are a lot of misconceptions about meditation. Almost, I hate to use the word, because we all think, well, okay, I've got to sit in a lotus position or a difficult sit on the floor and hold that meditation and don't have any thoughts for like 30 minutes or an hour or something. And actually, that's sort of an innocent misunderstanding. It's not that we don't have any thoughts. It's not that we have to sit on the floor. And it's not that it has to be a long time. All of those things are false. They're just a little misunderstanding. It's that we practice focusing ourselves. And in this picture, we show somebody looking at a candle because a lot of people like looking at candles. That allows them to keep their eyes on something and they just blink when they need to. Uh, some people like to close their eyes and count down from four or five, a simple short number, and then start again. Uh, some people like to just watch their breath. But even if you did that, five minutes a day, initially, in the morning or the evening, five minutes, found a place to sit, on the floor, on a chair, on the edge of your bed. If you're exhausted, lying on your bed. It's fine. And just give yourself five minutes of watching your thoughts. You're not trying to stop your thoughts. You're not wrong or not doing it right. If you have thoughts, as far as I know, if we stop having thoughts, that would be like death. And we're, not, we're getting there, but we're not there yet, thank heavens. So it's not that. It's just that we watch, and we have this thing called a witness. And the witness is able to see us watching thoughts. We're going, oh, look at that thought. I just thought about lunch. I wonder what I'm going to have for lunch. And you kind of go down the menu. Wait a minute, that's a thought. OK, take a breath, come back. What allows us to see the thought and to come back, that's called the witness. And once we develop that, and that will happen, I, if you practice, I can promise that will happen. Then when something happens with our breath, when we start to get nervous, when we start to have shortness of breath, we can call on that witness again so that we can for sure experience the sensation but not the add-on, not the pile-on as we used to say. So that's the great value of meditation. Thank you.